It is 10 to 11 on a summer's night and I'm back but just for a little solo pod and uh, just to check in really but I thought I'd do a, I'll do a little solo pod on love because um, it's where I'm at right now I suppose or where everyone can be at at certain times in their life and we're currently filming season three and I've got, well, in October, there will be a launch date and I will have 30, 20 to 30 episodes fully loaded, ready to go. And uh, I'm in the thick of it. I've interviewed some, some real wacky people and some real interesting people, some real funny people. Um, so it's going to be a, a mad series, but... I think for today I just wanted to check in and uh, I just, I don't know, you know, fuck knows. These solo pods just like come out of nowhere and I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm going to fucking write that and that's what I'm going to fucking write today. So yeah, I just thought, fuck it, fuck it. I am moving the mic as always and uh, realising life is just a never-ending circle, crazy emotional battles and feelings and upward climbs and dangerous circumstances and world winds of mind-boggling situations that you're always trying to bundle through in a cosmic deluded who am I context so that might sum up a little bit of this podcast but um yeah let's let's get into this one and I've, I've called it love as a losing game the world will break you 10 ways to sunday but a broken heart will feel like sunday doesn't even exist and it's quite obvious i'm a man but it's 2022 And we're apparently allowed to have feelings now. So, God, feelings do I have. The fucking energy, man, is like, I feel like from my body these days is just insane. Like every day is like, who are you? What are you? What is this feeling? What is that feeling? You are now aware. You are activated. You are switched on. You are meant to understand what you are feeling right now. But you don't. And you go to sleep and you don't fucking know what that was about either. And then you wake up and it's like, oh, don't remember what happened yesterday. But last night I woke up at three o'clock in the morning and I was stung by a wasp in the middle of the night. Or it might have been a gigantic spider, I'm not sure. And I was still in a complete dream state. And I, I still to this day know or do not know what insect that fucking was. And could I control that happening or the feelings that I felt that day or what I was feeling before that day? No. Can you control any of it? No. But am I more in sync with it? Maybe sometimes. Maybe sometimes in a small moment of, oh, I understand that, that feeling. But most of the time, I'm just like the crust of a wave. I know I'm part of the wave and I have to go with it. But I've got no idea what's going on next. But the force is so powerful within that wave, I have no fucking choice but to go with the flow. So, love. Amore. It has the world intoxicated, like heroin addicts. It comes and it goes. Possibly the strongest energy I've ever come in contact with. It comes in many shapes and forms. I've been fully in inside of it in its chemical or chemically addictional magic wonderful realms of lust and pain bouncing around again like the bubbles of a heroin. Oh, heroin on a spoon. 
I don't even know what I'm thinking of right now, but definitely bouncing around like the bubbles of heroin on a spoon. That sounded great. I don't know where that even come from. I haven't even written that down in my notes, but it's it's toxic, but at the same time you want it so much. So you boil it. You boil it until it's ready. And then you take it and there's, there's nothing else like that. There is no other thing on earth that is close to the feeling of love. I've always wondered, is it just, you know, a chemical that two humans produce? A cause and effect of the battle, the struggles, the pleasures, the desires, moments and or many moments and just all round monumentous moments that solidify a time of your life you really feel like shit this is where I'm meant to be riding that fucking wave man and for once you know you're at the top but there's always a way down and when that wave comes crashing crashing fucking down fuck does it hurt it fucking hurts it fucking hurts can you feel that pain you can always go back to it that is nothing else you can think of and the tide just never fucking goes out feels like it's not gonna go your chest is killing it's killing killing but it's not all bad, you know, it is a wonderful thing. It's only bad when you don't have it anymore or you're looking for it again. And I think you might have gathered, I'm not talking about the love you have for that bagel shop in Camden or your favorite brother or sister or dog. But, well, you know, I do love dogs. If you if you lose a dog, God, that fucking hurts too. I haven't, but even even mates' dogs, that makes me sad. Don't even know. Them. But I'm talking about that love. Some people are never lucky enough to even find, and the ones that that never know what they've got till it's gone. Well, we all know them. Maybe I was one of them. But life and love... <sighs> generate effort. But effort will not generate them, said the late Alan Watts. And if you ever felt that moment, the oh, oh shit moment, My touch, my touch, yo. You know, that old shit moment. And if that... That moment... You know, it's the, it's the first moment. Let's not fuck around. It's the fucking first moment you see them. You know, you just know. You know when you see them. You're like, whoa. I'm in trouble. I'm in so much fucking trouble. But you cannot resist it. It's on the spoon. It's boiling. It's ready to go. It's crashing. It's the wave. It's coming through the force. You cannot handle it. You have to go with it. And why not? Why not? It might be bad at the end. It might feel like it wasn't worth it. But you, you fucking know it was. You know it was. Even if it was a twin flame. Even if it was, you know. And if you don't know what a twin flame is. I don't think anyone does. We all have our assumptions on the spirit, the soul, the mind, the gravity, the, the weld, the shape. What love is, the, the desires around it, the pleasures around it. We have all these 
ideas, but a twin flame is. I think, maybe, that when you enter this world, you are a soul from a higher plane or somewhere else. And that soul can be split into two. And a twin flame is not someone you should be with forever. It is someone you learn from. They are a mirror of you. They are showing you your flaws. They are showing you your greatness. They are showing your your passion. They are giving you what you need to progress in the game they call life. And it's a wonderful, wonderful, painful journey, but it's one you should fucking do. And I think it was Gandhi that said, you know, everything in life you do will be insignificant, but it's very important that you do it. And that's fucking dope. But that moment, you know, it's the first time. It's almost like love knows both of you before you know each other. It's exterior. It's like a bubble in the middle. It's like holding you. You don't you don't own it. You cannot feel it. It's like a fork through water. You cannot grasp it. It's magic, I guess, what we would say. We can't explain it. You just know it. Or it knows you. It knows you both. And I think it's an act. It's an act of surrender. You have no choice but to ride that wave. Be the crust. You know, the white froth. That can only be created by the pure energy it is bound by. That it exists in. That it has to survive in. And I find you go, mic, 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 mic. Keep touching the mic, yo. But you go through. You're either in it, you're out of it, or you're looking for it. And where's the best place to be? Well, I think we all know it's in it. You can feel it, you can look back on it, you can love it, you can like it, you can live in it, you can be it. But that moment before it, that moment you, when you know you're scared, you're excited, you're impulsive, you're addictive, you can smell it. But when it goes, and it will, not to say it won't come back, and my dad always said, if it's right, son, it will come back. But if it's not, you got to let it go. And let's just say... This ain't come out of nowhere, but I'm letting it go. Because that wave has truly been a lesson worth living in. Or riding. One I'm fortunate enough to have come into contact with. And as I said, this is just... This is just, well, I need to do more solo pods. I like them. People do message me after and be like, rah, bro, that cut deep. So, what else am I going to do at 11 o'clock at night on a Thursday? Maybe go see Pusha T with my lads, but I just couldn't be bothered to go out. But I'll leave you with these wise words. Well, I'll leave you with these words. that I came to or or thought of and then arrived again at my man Alan Watts but these words we live with have only the experiences and feelings we can relate them to our desires our beliefs our love our passion our dreams they can be created as quickly as they can be crushed it takes time to create these things but nothing ends swiftly either because where I mean they can be created as quickly as they can be crushed as they can come into existence as much as they cannot isn't the time frame that you think it is a breakup or 
a lost loved one or anything can can take time to heal but god can it just you just like wow it feels like it's a long time fucking waffling but it feels like it's a long time but you know like the moment you saw that person or the moment it started that happened just like that but then when it ended and when you knew it happened just like that it's as quickly as it can be created it can be crushed but this is what my guy says anyway old Alan Alan Watts I could bring anyone back it would be him just to get him in the shed for 10 minutes would be unbelievable but well what did he say I guess you well go on just tell us what he's fucking saying there's one last thing I was saying as well but and that's we do not fall into our passions our desires but we always use the word falling in love and how Alan Watts puts it is well now really when you go back to falling in love and say it's crazy falling we don't say rising into love there is in it the idea of the fall and it goes back to extremely fundamental things that there is always a curious tie at some point between the fall and the creation taking this ghastly risk is the condition of there being life you see for all life is an act of faith an act of gamble it's all an act of faith you have given yourself up surrender and love is the form of surrender total abandonment i give myself i give myself so 17 little minutes going to be 18 soon and what do i say to love fuck it was nice having you around and i'll see you again when we are both cats peace out and i'm telling you season three is going to be fucking nuts and as i've always said it's starting in the shed but it's going to grow out the shed and i'll uh i'll echo my fucking feelings and my fucking points of view and whatever comes to mind but drop me a dm if you listen to this one let me know what you think and uh it's just a little freebie you know just a freebie for love and it's i've always worked for love not money